I gotta give credit where credit is due. Rockstar have been doing a lot of good in GT Online, and as surprised as I am to say it, I'm impressed. Now don't get me wrong, GT Online still isn't a perfect game by any stretch of the imagination. However, it seems that Rockstar has been working to fix what they messed up in the past. The Kyle Perico heist changed GT Online in a major way. The economy is actually good now. Kyle Perico can be done solo in about 30 to 40 minutes. My personal best is 28 minutes, and that's from the first start of the mission all the way to the finale. That's everything in between, 28 minutes. That's 4 million an hour by myself. This is the first time since 2014 I've had this much money in GTA Online. Making money in this game is easy again. And today's Los Santos Tuners update shows even more that Rockstar is finally listening to their community. An update for the car community. I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting most of these cars to cost well over 3 million after I seen how easy it was to make money in Kyle Perico, but surprisingly, they're actually fairly priced all things considered. I'm just shocked that for once, they decided to try and fix their game and stop catering to the griefers and tryhards after so many years of updates filled with overpowered weaponized vehicles and constantly inflating prices. And after the tuners update, GT Online is fun again. I can't remember the last time I was able to say that and actually mean it. The pursuit race is probably my favorite part of this update. You can make your own up and avoid the first turn pileups that always happen in races. It really gives me Need for Speed Carbon and Midnight Club vibes. The only complaint I have about this update is the phone calls. Why is there so many of them? Stop calling my phone, sir. These new characters talk way too much and they call you every two minutes. They're so annoying to listen to and the dialogue is cringeworthy at points. Listen up. When you hit in a bank, you need that big dick energy, right? Big dick energy, right? Big dick energy, right? <laughs> baby girl got some body work to do. Uh -huh. Oh, do <laughs> I now? Oh, baby, bring that too. <laughs> but I only use it for very special occasions. Special occasions is what I got right here in my pants. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck was that? This update also added contracts, which are basically just mini heists with mini payouts. They feel very out of place in a street racing update, besides the train robbery maybe? I haven't played all of them, and they're not bad, they just feel out of place in a street racing update. But look, GT Online still has tons of hackers destroying lobbies and stupid things like when you export a car in this new update, it still puts a giant target on your back for some grief around a Mark II to blow you up. It's not perfect, but it's getting better. And I'm happy that for once, I don't have any complaints. I know this is very out of character for me, and most if not all of my videos are just me bitching about Rockstar and GTA. But for once, I'm happy with the state of the game as it is. It's playable again. For the first time in years, I find myself logging on just to play the game for fun, not to record a video or grind for cash just to hang out with my friends and have a good time. And originally that's what GT Online was always about, but somewhere along the way Rockstar got caught up in the shark card sales and they jumped the shark, and that's why you had things like the Doomsday update. So I'm glad this game is slowly starting to go back to its roots. I think for now we're safe from the alien stuff and the Clifford sci-fi days of GT Online, and hopefully we get more updates that give the community exactly what they asked for, like with this one. Uh, I really don't know how to end this video. It feels weird ending it so calmly and without anger, uh, so... Stop crashing into me in the streets, you untalented wannabe posers! There's an entire street! Leave me alone!